there's been a lot of discussion with the lawmakers who are the major proponents uh, of who've been champions on those issues, trying to decide what's the best um, strategic path on all the different topics. I think what you're going to see is the Senate's going to have some priorities and the House is going to have some priorities. I think on the House side, what you're probably going to see move first is the issue around continuing our work on domestic violence, making sure that folks who um, have um, been convicted or are um, at risk of hurting someone in a domestic violence situation do not have access to firearms. So that will probably be the first issue we take up on the House side. I don't know when, but I don't think the bill's totally out yet. So. I don't think it's been dropped yet, so I think that's part of the problem. I just wanted to check in on the death penalty. There's going to be I think, two bills sort of retrofitting how we treat the death penalty, um, as far as I understand. Maybe three, actually. But um, you suggested, I think, ahead of the session that you weren't interested in any changes to capital punishment that went forward without voter. Um, voter. Is that still your stance? That Personally, right now, that's where I am, yeah. Okay. Because I think those other bills are changing the definition. Of aggravated murder, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Although the one that just came out around terrorism is a new one, so I haven't actually looked at that one. I thought, is that the Greenlick one? Yeah, yeah a... but isn't that the second Greenlick one? Does he have more than one? <laughs> I think there's one, but I might be yeah, more. I, yeah, I haven't, obviously haven't looked at them close. So. Oh, but, but, but my as of now, your stance, yeah, your, yeah. your preference are, I mean, because... My preference is, are... this is a constitutional issue that should go to voter chance. On uh, carbon reduction on the 